sales spiking 4% on Friday. The big question, what will crude do this week and in the future with the crisis in Egypt? Fadal Geit, Managing Director of the Oil and Gas Sector for Oppenheimer & Company, joins us now to talk about that. Fadal, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Um, let, 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 good morning. Good morning. Let's get first to your overall outlook here. When we spoke last, you said, look, this is all psychological. Uh, Egypt is not a net exporter of oil. The concern really shouldn't be uh, on Egypt right now. Correct. But people are saying that if this is a wave, it is a popular uprising in the Middle East that could travel east, that could impact other countries, other regime. If that happened, people are worried about oil supply. Egypt is not a major factor when it comes to oil export, but Saudi Arabia is, uh -huh. Kuwait is, United Arab Emirates is. So, so therefore, people are concerned, are looking for extrapolating what happened if. And unfortunately, uh, oil prices have always been run on speculation and, and, and any uh, global event. And this is a global event. It's a wake-up call, and I do believe that we are going to see more spread, if you will, of this uh, popular uprising throughout the Middle East. These people have been under pressure for many years, and that will continue to impact oil prices. But back to oil prices, I think oil prices are inflated. I think oil prices are running up uh, extremely above what the fundamentals should suggest. Mm -hmm. I think oil prices should be trading in the 65 to 75 dollar, not in the 95 dollar. Fadal, where are you most concerned about this unrest spreading? I mean, it really started in Tunisia. We saw uh, the Tunisian people able to oust their president. Uh, Mubarak still technically in power in Egypt. Uh, many, though, on the street there don't want to see that continue. Where does this go next? Are you concerned about Saudi, Yemen, Iran? Correct. I mean, we're already seeing the seed of discontent in Algeria, Tunisia, Egypt, uh, Yemen. Uh, uh, but the biggest fear is Saudi Arabia. It's the largest oil producer in the region, second only to the Soviet Union, produce about 9 uh, million barrels a day. Uh, they have the largest spare ca capacity. So it's by far, it is the most important country when it comes to oil supply. And people and traders, and rightfully so, uh, are concerned. Uh, if we have uh, any destabilization in this region, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, I think you can see oil prices moving much higher. But are you really politically concerned about Saudi Arabia? Because the experts I'm hearing from say they're more concerned about Yemen and Iran in terms of political social unrest? Well, two weeks ago, everybody thought the Mubarak regime was the most stable in the world as far as this kind of totalitarian type government. And all of a sudden now we see that was not the case. So uh, okay. don't believe any, you know, everything you see and everything you hear. Uh, the sentiments are completely different. So I do not rule out spreading of this popular uprising throughout the whole region. Yeah.